wherever you go, whatever you do, you're always carrying friends with you. They're tiny, you can't see them, but I promise they're there. The teeny tiny bugs you carry everywhere. Hello everyone, my name's Nathan. What's the smallest thing you can see? Look at your hand. Can you see the lines that run across it? Look more closely at your fingertip. Can you see the tiny lines that make up your fingerprint? If the weather's nice, you can go outside looking for insects. Ladybirds are small. Ants are even smaller. But can you see any that are smaller still? But scientists want to see things in even more detail. And they use an instrument like this one, which is called a microscope. With a microscope, you can shine light through something and see things that you would never be able to see without it. Tiny things, microscopic things, even microscopic living things, like bugs called bacteria. Now I know some bacteria, and one of them is my friend Theo. Shall we see if we can find Theo? Hello. Are you there, Theo? Here I am. I'm playing on the slide. Whee! Haha, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yes, Theo is on a slide. But it's not like a slide in the park. Microscope slides are pieces of glass or plastic that are see-through and you put things on so that you can look at them under the microscope. Here's a slide that I was looking at just now. Let's have a look at some other slides. This one shows a piece of onion. If we turn this handle, we can focus the microscope if the picture's too blurry. Can you see that it looks as if the onion's built out of blocks? These blocks are called cells, and all living things, onions, ants, and you and me, we're all made up of millions of cells. But tiny bugs like Theo are different, because they're made up of just one cell each. Now, you might have heard of bacteria before now, and some of them are germs that can be really nasty and make us ill. And that's why it's important to wash our hands after we go to the loo. But others are really useful. It's bugs like Theo that turn plant waste like this into compost like this that we can use to help us grow happier plants. And other bugs turn milk like this into yummy yogurts like this. In fact, I've done a little experiment. I took a spoonful of yogurt and added some warm water. I left it for a few days, then took a drop, added some more water, gave it a bit of a mix, and put it onto a slide. A microscope slide, that is, not a playground one. Then I looked at the slide under the microscope. So do you want to know what yoghurt looks like really close up? Are you sure? OK then, here goes. Can you see the tiny blobs that have joined together into clusters? Those are the bugs that make yoghurt so deliciously yogurty. How to make yoghurt by Theo the Tiny Bug First of all, I get some milk and put it into a big vat. Then I jump in and swim around in it to make it into yoghurt. Then I take the yoghurt out and throw it up onto the shelf and then they take it to the shop and you can buy it. And that's, that's all true, honest. Hmm, 
I'm not sure I quite believe that. Anyway, for now, from me and from Theo, see you next time.